Daniel 2 verse 40 to 43. In the fourth kingdom shall be strong as iron, for as much as iron breaketh in pieces and subdueth all things, and as iron that breaketh all these, shall it break in pieces and bruise. And whereas thou sawest the feet and toes, part of potter's clay and part of iron, the kingdom shall be divided, but there shall be in it of the strength of the iron, forasmuch as thou sawest the iron mixed with murray clay. And as the toes of the feet were part of iron and part of clay, so the kingdom shall be partly strong and partly broken. And whereas thou sawest iron mixed with murray clay, they shall mingle themselves with the seed of men, but they shall not cleave one to another even as iron is not mixed with clay. The bottom of the statue is a combination of iron that gradually culminates with a mixture of murray clay. This part of the statue can be seen in a few books of the Bible, in particular Revelation. One can look at the final hybrid beast in Daniel 7 and Revelation with the dragon. These are all symbolically tied to Rome, the final world empire, which will be apparent as we progress through this series. This is also a real and physical kingdom, not something metaphorical. As we can see, however, the empire starts off as iron with a specific gravity of 7, and breaks down with clay which is at 2.6. The scientific evidence of these elements shows undeniably that throughout the empires of the world within the times of the Gentiles do not improve, but have consistently been weaker despite the perceived strength these empires seem to possess. This shows that up to this point, nothing has gradually improved over time, as nearly every time period throughout the Bible ends in apostasy and destruction. While seeing verse 43 as prophetic for how this final empire is strong yet weak and divided, one might be able to have an interpretation where this can also represent a sign of the times. It says, And whereas thou sawest iron mixed with murray clay, they shall mingle themselves with the seed of men, which may be suggesting that the seed of man will go through a physical change. One interpretation involves the physical integration of man and metal by means of machines. The thought of a body being combined to metal has never been more possible until now in the 21st century. As we consider prosthetic limbs, microchips, brain chips, and other devices. Another interpretation, and arguably the more biblical, might be referring to an event identical to Genesis 6 before the flood. Let's read the passage. Genesis 6 verses 1 to 4. And it came to pass, when man began to multiply on the face of the earth, and daughters were born unto them, that the sons of God saw the daughters of men that they were fair, and they took them wives of all which they chose. And the Lord said, my spirit shall not always strive with man, for that he also is flesh, yet his days shall be an hundred and twenty years. There were giants in the earth in those days, and also after that, when the sons of God came in unto the daughters of men, and they bare children to them. The same became mighty men which were of old, men of renown. This event where the sons of God that have hybrid offspring with the daughters of men may be present in this time. This would make sense also when considering what Jesus said in the Olivet Discourse. In Matthew 24 verse 37, But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man 